now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Cesar Carneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. The time is 644. Let's check your weather on the fours with meteorologist Cesar Carneo. Cesar, today rain is the name of the game. Yes, it is, Brian, and we continue to see those storm activities. Did you get any on your way in? I know I was starting to see a few lightning strikes as I was making my way in this morning. Again, wet roads have caused some incidents. So what we continue to see is some stormy starts for us here in parts of northern Utah. The flash flooding danger continues for us. And again, more storms throughout, not just today, but also the weekend for us. And looking at next week, we have the possibility of seeing a dry spell for a little bit. It isn't going to be the greatest to combat our drought, but hey, you know, that's what Mother Nature does. She gets what she wants. So far right now, whew, look at that. Seeing a little bit of rain hanging around our Colonial Flag camera here at the ABC4 News Studio. Still seeing that southerly wind, maybe even a little bit more on the southeasterly side. And as we continue to see these storms making their way out, the showers also a little bit more sunshine to be had out there. And looking at Storm Tracker radar, we are seeing that this is starting to slowly clear up as we go throughout the later parts of the morning. Again, some shower activity still hanging around for some of the higher elevation over in parts of southern Utah, central Utah but we're overall very humid. So we expect to see that storm activity will linger for us and temperatures also range around the 70s, even 80s, not even going to reach the 90s until a little bit later in the afternoon. And if we start to get some storm activity going along towards the valleys, we may even stay below the 90s. But one thing we can expect to see is that we also have some showers for almost everyone. So as we look right now, for the Great Basin, look at that. Almost everyone has the chance of seeing some rain. It's great. We love the rain, especially when it can help with the drought. What we don't love is when it's excessive and it becomes an issue for flash flooding. Most of the I-15 corridor, corridor just south of Utah County and even parts of southern Utah County, all the way down towards St. George, because of our moisture content, we have the possibility of seeing flash flooding with some of these stronger, slowing, moving storms. And look at that. We see in the Wasatch, excuse me, not the Wasatch Front, southwest Utah, here we have a flash flood watch that will go into effect at noon and last until midnight. And as we look at future casts, we'll see why that is. We get, the, we get the storm activity really ramping up by the afternoon and late evening hours. And as we go throughout the overnight hours, we see that shower activity still continues to linger for a few parts of us, especially in eastern Nevada. And then going into Saturday, we see that storm activity pops up again, even into the evening time frame. So if you do have plans outdoors, earlier is better. But again, this will be an all weekend kind of thing. Even going into parts of Sunday, look at that. By noon, lunchtime, we start to see a little bit of shower activity sparking up around the spine of the mountains. Once again, looking at regional forecast for us, we are seeing that we have temperatures near the 90s and even some lower 80s for us, such as Cedar City and parts of Ely. So as we look at St. George's seven day forecast, we expect to see that thunderstorm activity continues for us this weekend, staying well below average with temperatures in the 90s for us. Wasatch Front, we even dropped towards the 80s by Sunday and Monday with thunderstorms still occurring for us and taking a look